Today we're gonna to do container loading and shipping in Qatar fabric markets. Let's go right now. Hi, I'm Jens here. Today I'm gonna to load some container and all the fabrics uh, products we all came from this uh, Qatar great fabric market. So we will first load here and then we will go to another place where the container already packed and we will load the container. The reason is that the management uh, of this market cannot allow the container come to here so we have to check here because basically all the fabric suppliers in this market so let's go so this is Kachal Grey fabric markets or stock if you want to buy some stock this is the best place best market hey bro this is the all stock they sell just like that okay they just uh, jack to the first floor and the buyer just come and take it because we cannot call the container directly to here because of the market rules so we will first use this truck uh, to load all the products load all the fabrics in we bought in this uh, uh, fabric market uh Kuchal fabric market then we will uh, drive this truck to the place where container already waiting for us okay so it's gonna take one hour like that but we have three uh, helpers to do this uh, so every uh, supplier sent the uh, fabrics here and then we use this small machine and uh, load it to this truck so this is my machine guy and every time he would do a lot of work for me and uh, small guy and this is my truck guy pretty good organize everything so we're just waiting here uh, for the supplier to come one by one one by one and uh, uh, I have to come one day earlier uh, to visit every supplier first. Make sure they deliver on time. So, uh, according to our experiences, if you do those preparation and the supplier always deliver on time, uh, they will not delay. Like this morning, I need to finish like uh, before 10 a.m. in the morning. I need to collect all. Here are around like 20 CBM. We have a uh, 125 container, 28 CBM. So pretty much it and we have other products in our warehouse in Kachau so basically you will see later how we load the container okay these are suppliers they just uh, send to here uh, very few one bell two bell three bell like that so we almost order like over 50 different suppliers so it will combine all these and load it to this truck Hello, you. Hello, you. Hello, you. <laughs> So this is another supplier, one bell. So every uh, bell, they have a unique number, right? Right. So this is the 19 supplier. Uh, he only one. He only has one bell. So this is 19 hyphen one. So after a customer receive those goods, uh, they will open it and they check it uh, with the list, packing list that we send to them. If this is a problem, okay. For example, and they open it and this is 19 hyphen one and I'm gonna find this guy's trouble so every bell actually a uh, few rows in each bell each bell marked with uh, the yarn list yarn we call the the yarn number so it's very clear how many rows we receive how many bells we receive So see which number this is. Five. 
Yeah, just put it there. Oh, it's here. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Okay. 所以我们已经完成了我们的车子已经完成了我们的车子已经完成了我们的车子已经完成了我们的车子已经完成了我们的车子已经完成了我们的车子已经完成了我们的车子已经完成了我们的车子已经完成了我们的车子已经完成了我
after we load these, and we will put other products uh, which customers purchased from EU market. So the EU market, those goods are pretty light. We have to put on the top, not the bottom. The bottom always be heavy fabrics like those. The bell like this, there are dozen, over a dozen uh, rows each bell. So that's why I make it a little heavy. But like I said, uh, to those workers, uh, they're not heavy even. One worker can handle one bells, basically. Uh, except that some bells are very heavy, they have to uh, do together. Usually three persons, they can do separately and uh, load and uh, put each even heavy one to the containers. Sorry, the lighting is not that good, but I'm inside the container, so there's no light. Uh, we're discussing when should load the first above that bell, uh, when should load the other one. So they will discuss all of these and make sure the container uh, will be fit perfectly. Now usually uh, this container like this, they're always going to be uh, one, or one CBM left, left. Because we already calculated all CBM. Uh, if you book a container of 20 feet and then you order like 35 CBM, well, you can load all and uh, you have to leave into next shipment. And this is not the plan. This is not a, what are we trying to do for customers. Uh, so calculating the CBM in advance is very important, very important to us. Make sure all the products, all the fabrics, customers ordered will be loaded on time and all of these will be loaded. No even one row left. So see, uh, it's very quickly actually. Small container and uh, over 100 bills and will be loaded to container half an hour so I don't think we will finish that long it will finish another half an hour it will be all over but well, like this is a very very big one so the reason why we need to put the number on each bell because when we apply customs before shipping the customers will check everything let's make example if you continue to get checked by customs don't worry no problem we have all the documents and the paper. What I'm saying is, we need to make it easier for customers to check if they want, if your container get checked, right? Like this bell is 12 hyphen two, so uh, it also will read into our young list. Uh, for example, the customer's um, inspector will say, hey, I need to check this uh, bell, okay? First, but first tell me how many rows inside the bell, how many meters per row. So we need to hand over the yarn list to inspector. They will check if the meters on the yarn list is exactly same as this bell after they open, then it will be no problem. So that's why you can see all the bells marked with the number. So now those uh, shelves, those products are from EU. So we ship it to Kuchao in our warehouse first and then we'll just load it right now. These products from you are shell, uh, paper bag and just like that. But the paper bag is very light product. So we have put all those paper bag cartons on the top of the container. Uh, so it will avoid any broke. Those things we don't have to let the customers tell us. We know all of these and we will do accordingly when every time we load a container. We will also order the gold display uh, from your market. So this uh, play just for a uh, fabric sample. You can put a fabric sample on this shelf, on this uh, display to show customers. So those are basically what we ordered, what we received, and what we shipped. Alright, this is the last one. Alright, now we finish loading container and this container will be shipped to Ningbo Seaport directly. Ningbo Seaport is the nearest loading port to Kachau. Also to you, the same, not big differences. And then it will be in the process of customs declaration and after that, 
uh, it will be directly shipped to customer's country. So this is going to be all for this video. And if you like our video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get latest notification when we release new videos about our business, about every market, you market, could you market for you in the future. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.